Good afternoon, my name is Rebecca and I'm coming to you from Kangaroo Ridge Retreat. I'm currently sitting out on the balcony here because despite it being sep uh, sorry, not September, December, it is still rather cold and I kind of need to defrost. I have to confess, I was wearing a scarf and a beanie earlier today and now in the summer, sun I'm feeling quite nice and cozy. I wanted to share with you today a little bit of a story about what's been happening in the last couple of weeks. I haven't been posting online as much as I like to and so I think it also give you a little bit of an insight about what it's like to, to host guests in cabins and to be a hotelier in, in the Yarra Valley, a, a regional centre of Victoria and which goes along with its own challenges and also a lot of uh, positives as well. The week before last, the whole, uh, pretty much the entire state of Victoria, but a massive cold front came through with, uh, with a very extreme weather change. And while that change was occurring, it was pretty much what I would describe like a cyclone that came through the area. And we had trees over power lines, we had hail, we had wind, we had rain, pretty intense. And during that time, I had guests arrive at the same time, going to the wrong cabin, and we had course a power outage and what looked like it was going to be out for about two hours turned out to be out for 24 hours. Behind the scenes we work pretty hard to actually make sure that it, it is a quite a seamless process but this was one time that because of the circumstances it was not seamless and the experience that you would normally get at Kangaroo Ridge Retreat was not the experience that they received which is a bit of a shame. Which brings me to the next point of what was happening is that then this guest, we, we love our guests, we actually promote them to leave reviews, but we also like feedback ourselves. And we got, I went online and I had this review where all the major aspects of a review, the customer service, the quality, the location, we got 10 out of 10. But the overall score, we got eight out of 10. It's still pretty good, it's very good. It's not excellent being a person with with high aspirations I find it hard not when I don't get top marks but there's there was no comment so I'm not given the opportunity to actually respond to it and give further context about why we had not exceeded the expectations of our guest so I can put two and two together and work out which guest it was that left this review and I know when they stayed and I do know the context around why we didn't exceed their expectations However, it does sting a little bit and we do have to take that into our stride because moving forward, we do offer a great experience within the Yarra Valley and what we have here at Kangaroo Ridge Retreat. So it's, we like to learn from these and we, we have learned a fair bit from this whole experience from the, from the extreme weather and how to handle all the chaos that goes on around at that same time but also the following, the follow-up and what, how that is received on the guest point of view. So moving forward, we've got some interesting things happening at the moment that includes some summer wines and we're super looking forward to summer finally arriving and so that we can enjoy more days like this, well, out on the balcony. If you have any further questions about what it's like to host guests or what it's like in the Yarra Valley, please post a comment down below. Please share this video and I hope to be welcoming you, welcoming you here on the ridge sometime.